Hello everyone and welcome back to 7 Days to Die and in today's episode I'm going to be doing a bit of mucking around but first off I need to take some junk to the trader for sailing and also what I was doing last night let's see so I have managed to drag everything home from our tour of the hospital and let's see I also found I had a better bow so that's something the old one was kind of average. Anyway, before I go anywhere else, I will show off the, what I was doing last night. I did find some coal, so I ended up digging a tunnel back to the house, but it's a bit unfinished at the moment. And I actually found more, a lot closer too. I also think I found some iron or lead or some, something down here, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, some kind of metal there. And when we finally get to the end here, as you can see, I did dig out quite a big area. I was a little nuts, and there's actually a lot more there. So I don't have any fuel problems anymore. You can sort of see where I found it. It was just one of those lumps of coal on the surface. So we'll have to dig down under a few others that I found and see if there's any more, but for now, that's not a big deal. Um, let's see. Anyway, that actually makes the base more useful. Originally this was just going to be a temporary thing, but I think I might be using it for a lot longer now. Even once I start on my planned major project. Oh, go away. What have he been there for? I might need to make this wall higher. Or dig a trench. That'll work. Anyway, it's time to go back to the trader over that way. Let me see how much of this junk I can offload. And then after that I'm going to go look for a... I've got an idea of a place to build up for the Horde Knight. It's ideal is that it's away from where I live. But uh, still reasonably close. I kind of miss when this was a forest. loot that place as well but I can't be bothered right now. No oh, hell with it, why not? They're upstairs, aren't they? You're really that dumb? There's some actual worthwhile stuff here. Uh, let's see, bullets, wrench. Anyway, enough mucking around, time to get to the onto the trader. Oh, 
course, once I get done with all of that, I'll probably spend a lot of off-camera time mining. So I was getting a lot of useful material. And yeah, I'm just selling the junk guns. Now let's see. Don't really want to get close to that guy, but why not? I gotta go that way anyway. so damn steep I'd have stuck to the road. Anyway, I think we're there now. Yeah, here we are. And of course it'd be open by this time. So let's get on with that. and see how much money I can actually make out of all of this junk. Better a motorbike. At least they can cart more crap around. That's pretty much what I'm what's holding up when actually starting my project so I can get a lot of bullets and to clear the building first. What do you need? Okay, let's see, you can't sell that. That's with selling apart from no hey I level up <laughs> nice uh, have you got anything worth buying <sighs> not really I can afford that chassis I can make one I think let's see let's see do you think Anyway, I'm going to drop off here and I will get back to you when I get to my planned base, for, well, my planned horn base. So I'll see you shortly. Alright, welcome back. Anyway, as you can see, here's the radio tower, or rather what's left of the radio tower after I kind of trashed it, but it still will serve its purpose. Um, yeah, I probably need to fix that hole in the wall, but... As you can see, I struck the site pretty good. And with a little bit of upgrading, it will be a pretty decent spot. Anyway, yeah. I don't know, maybe some bars around the thing. I don't think it's really necessary for the first seven day horde. Or at least that's the plan. So yeah, this, this of course will hamper them a little bit. And I can fire down on them with the arrows and also I'll be bringing a rifle. Not one of the assault ones because um, I don't really have enough bullets yet. Do I? No, I didn't bring any. I'm slipping a bit. Oh, I should clear a few trees around here to give me a bit of Since of course I'm shooting a lot.
Yeah, that's a bit better. Also, now I shall craft some. where the ladder used to be. Oh yeah. As you can see I have a pretty decent view on pretty much all vectors, so anything trying to attack me is going to have a hard time. And it'll do at least for the first one or two hordes, and by then of course I'll be set up in the city. As yeah, I think I might have mentioned it, I plan to go to the southern corner city and build a base on one of the high rises. I've actually wanted to do this for a while, but first time I've got around to it. Seeing as I don't normally play um, Nevin's Gain uh, normally, and I've never been able to find the building in random gen. At least that's the plan for that, although. I get a feeling that stuff's going to go wrong. <laughs> it always does. But um, that's half the fun, really. Anyway, I should get back to the base and get the materials ready because things I got. A, I actually got quite a bit of stuff now. This is a basement. It's also rather empty. That was hardly worth the effort. What's the downside of not having um, not having a what's we call it the stone axe? I can't really check if um, that bit of the floor is actually a trap or not. Ah, oh, well, some decent loot there. Not really worth the effort. It's not going to help. Anyway, I don't know. That's probably enough for today. Oh, I'm actually finding stuff, so it's probably a worthwhile stop. Anyway, I think I'll leave this episode here, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel for more daily videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time in 7 Days to Die.